Hi, this is our family. Do you want to tell, tell the cameras your name? This is Bella. I'm Ramiro. This is Amara and I'm Elsa. Um, this is our little family. Amara came into our lives eight and a half years ago. But we probably found out around just before she was one that she had cerebral palsy, which was obviously a big shock to us. We weren't expecting that at all. I had a kind of normal pregnancy, but that was okay. We kind of said, okay, we we're going to deal with it. I guess at that point we didn't realize how severe her disability was. I think we're pretty strong and we kind of, we dealt with it pretty well. I mean, we had our moments where we cried and we were angry and, and things. Probably around the age of two, we, we wanted some things for Amara and our therapist said, oh, well, let's try variety. And that's where our journey with variety started. And I think the f first piece of equipment they funded was her walker. Parents with um, special needs kids will know that acquiring anything for your child is a major battle. We just can't get funding for certain things. You know, the government will only fund essential equipment and variety just picks up the slack. So they'll fund pretty much almost everything that we've kind of asked for you know, justified, Variety is funded, and I uh, really don't know where we'd be without them. We'd probably be, you know, $50,000, you know, in less, debt. In debt. <laughs> so the difference is, the, see the chair she's sitting in? This is not an essential chair, but for Amara it really is. The government will fund a wheelchair, one wheelchair, and they believe that she should sit in that all the time everywhere but for Amara she's extremely uncomfortable she's in a lot of daily pain muscle pain so for her to sit in that all day long it's, it's quite uncomfortable. As Il said because if she's sitting in her wheelchair which is obviously it's quite set to support her while moving as opposed to set to support her while sitting and things like that um, if she's comfortable for longer she's more responsive she's more um, involved in what we're doing as opposed to being distracted by discomfort so um, yeah I think it just basically improves her quality of life and allows her to connect a little bit more with us day to day. The bike is, is two things we wanted it so um, obviously it was an inclusion thing um, you know normal kids can ride a bike we wanted Amara to be able to ride a bike obviously she's not gonna be able to ride it herself. It was about getting that motion of her legs moving around so for us it's all about we need to keep her moving for her muscles and, and health yeah. reasons and stuff so we just thought it was just another thing and obviously government said it wasn't essential so we had to come to variety but because she's so high needs and needed a, a, something completely different i had to go to a company that had to design a bike from scratch for her yeah so they created a custom bike for her and she absolutely loves it because she gets to go outside she's moving which she loves and her legs are going around but she absolutely loves it and it's exercise for her yeah